Gil Ratings, this is Garth RSD Tiles Adventure with a new map. Hello there, Joe Finator here. FTB, wait, what? This isn't FTB. What is this? Uh, Where am I? Hello. What the? It's Iron hello. Man. Hey, what's up? How, how's it do uh, how, how are you doing? Oh, are you a dwarf? I'm a, I'm a dwarf. Are you a superhero? Uh, it appears like I, I am Iron Man. <laughs> A.K.A. the Jofinator. <laughs> the Jofinator. Well, I'm, I'm glad that you're here because I had uh, I had an idea for a, a map, but it, it was probably going to be fairly boring by myself. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you should totally introduce me to this boring map that you had by yourself. Well, first of all... Seeing look, as I'm here already and I can't do an FTB play without my map, yeah. might as well just... That's, that's true. That's, that is definitely true. Um... But this is this is the, the chunk that we spawn in, um, right here. Oh, cool! And I I thought it would be cool to do like a to to do like a uh, a, a build where I didn't make any permanent structures outside of the spawn block. Oh my goodness, that so sounds I, awesome! I figured, you know, and I thought I would call it um, big tall spawn block. What do you, <laughs> what do you think? Uh, <laughs> that that. That sounds like a lot of words for a for a title for a YouTube uh, video. What you got a su suggestion maybe? Maybe like inside the lines or something? Oh, that, that's brilliant! I thought of that myself actually. Thank you're, you. You're very smart. Is your last name really two point six meters? <laughs> uh, actually, there's a dash for my middle name. Oh, okay, that makes sense. I bet, I bet your initials are hard. You know <laughs> what we should, we probably would need for this map, and maybe some kind of rules or something. Okay, what do you got in mind? I don't know. Um, can you think of any? Can you, think, um, can you think of any rules? I think we should probably have like all the permanent structures be built in this spawn chunk. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh -huh. And uh, if we want to use like quarries or something, those cheap build craft things, they uh -huh. can only be in miscraft ages. That sounds good. Yeah. And they can only be like one chunk big because it's totally unfair to have a sixty-four by sixty-four. I concur. And uh, I think that we should have just like all our nether structures in. Uh, a 16 by 16 area as well. Kind of like around that spawn area that we have in the nether. Uh, if we ever get there, of course. We gotta hope that we don't die. Yeah, that's cool. Hey, you got an egg too. Hey, we got eggs. This, this is, hey, hey! You've already got those rules written down. I, uh, yeah, I spent like a good four hours earlier today actually in this world. Mm hmm. Did uh, you? This is, this is my first time this time being in here. Oh, uh, did you craft these signs with a nail file or something? What took four hours, man? Uh, it's actually, see these dashes? Oh. It's incredibly hard to put them on rules. Oh, I... Yeah. That would, <laughs> and what do you know? It even says, Garth is in the Jofinator play. I mean... Wow. Are you psychic? It's like I planned for us to be here. Are you psychic? Well, we don't have a lot of time to build some form of shelter, and I don't really know where the chunk boundary is, so let's let's turn it on. And this is All our... Right. This is our spawn. This is our limit. Um, we have a little bit of space into this mountain, which we could probably dig into right away just to get away from zombies and stuff like that. So I'm going to cut an egg down with a tree, or a tree down with an egg. <laughs> yeah. That, that's probably easier. All right, and I'll start digging into this mountain that's made out of stone with my bare hands. Yeah, because it's like already nighttime. <laughs> that didn't even work. <laughs> you should do better. Uh, Yeah. I yeah. I got wood. Oh, come on. What? No, I'm serious. I have, I have wood. Oh, you got wood. You have a crafting table? Um, yes. Wow, genius. <laughs> All right, well, you can clearly be the only one that crafts anything. I'll keep hand-digging the shelter. <laughs> if you wait a second or two, I'll have some <laughs> things for you. <laughs> you know, as a, as a super high-tech advanced person with armor that should save me from everything, you'd think I'd have this all planned out. Yeah, why don't you use your hand lasers? There's a pick All right, right there for well, you. They're a little bit slow right now because uh, there's a they actually jam up in the winter, and mm -hmm. it's just past winter. So oh, that's right. Oh, that's right. You live you live in like Canada, right? Yeah, and it's always winter here. I've actually never seen anything but snow. Do you do you guys actually get sunshine and stuff? Uh, never. Never. Like so, thirty six hours of the day, it's it's nighttime. You have thirty six hours in your day. I know, our government runs this wild. I'll bet, man. But no, we do get daytime sometimes. Every once in a great while? Yeah. 
sometimes when the moon is not blue, we get. Oh. Yeah. Hey, um, while we get, while we're digging this out, do you have a le- do you have eight stone yet? I've got four. I get, can get you four get, more. Yeah, get four more. And don't yeah, go. Yeah, about to starve to death. So. Yeah, and I'll kill the chicken, because <laughs> I hate them. I hate I'm chickens gonna, so much. You know, you know what's funny? Um, the eggs. Mm-hmm. Uh, I had a friend who was working on a mod that you could cook bacon and eggs. Oh yeah. And he pretty much got it done. He's just got to port it to one five. Oh. Or one four seven or whatever this is. Yeah, because anybody who's anybody is making mods for one five now. I mean. Yeah, it's like, oh, you have a computer with uh, one gigabyte of RAM. You can make a mod. Go ahead. Yeah, I mean. Anybody who's anybody is anybody. You know what I mean? But yeah. Anyway, I got that furnace for you. Okay. I have uh first thing I'm going to do is make some torches so that it's not super duper dark. All right. You do that. I'll keep digging out this hole in here. Okay. I'm excited about, about the hole. Mostly because there's, you know, monsters and junk out outside the hole. You know... Don't, far, don't go too far that way. This this wall right here. Yeah, that's is the, the chunk boundary. Line. Okay, so you got it on. Yeah, I got it turned on. All right, you're you're the man. I should have never doubted you, and I'm I'm sorry that I did. <laughs> I'm very sometimes, sorry. Sometimes doubt myself. I'll even admit it. Oh, my, I'm still got my cheat window open. Hey, well, it I sucks. probably don't sometimes, need that. You know what? It gets the best of us. When yeah. you spawn into a world, you're forced to have it open anyway. So, thanks, Minecraft. Yeah, pff, thanks, Minecraft, for making me a cheater. <laughs> Uh, there you go. There's that. And then oh, we'll that's put one nice. Out here. You get charcoal? I, I, yeah, I made one just oh, so nice. I could make some. Uh, just Should so use that one to make eight more. I was thinking about it, but it's dark. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta wait I around. I didn't. I didn't want to. I didn't want to die. That's. I'd rather be alive with no charcoal than dead with eight. Well, I mean, if you die with eight charcoal, then I'm. Potentially have eight charcoal and alive, and, right? And a little bit of experience. <laughs> oh yeah, the furnaces give you experience, don't they? I mean, like when I die, I would get experience. I would drop experience, and you would. Oh, you have up. experience already? I have like two, cause I chi- cause I cooked a chicken. Oh. You know. You know. Oh, hey. I've got experience now too. What the heck just happened there? It's like my arm flew across my body or something. Really? Yeah. No, I made that up. <laughs> <laughs> don't right, be so- smart, guard. I can't help it. I'm very smart. Hey, um, do you have two more pieces of kabobble? Oh yeah, I've got way more than that. Well, give me, um, give me. Let's see. I need, I guess, just a half a stack or whatever. I don't mean just. I'm gonna make a couple of axes and picks and yeah, stuff. Yeah, you go ahead. Oh wow, you got lots of it. Yeah, I, I work as quick as this stone pick you gave me will let me anyway. Oh, okay. You see, I don't know what that is. I don't know what I was trying to make. It was like an axe combo thing. <laughs> I'm not really sure what was going on there. And um, right. I'm going to give you two stones. Since since you're, like, really good at digging and junk, and I'm, you know, well, I, you. I like to kill trees, so... Oh, oh God, you're so, you're so close. <laughs> I wasn't prepared for that. All right, so this is going to get... Um, ow, there you go. Those are... I made those for you. Wow. And did you know you what's going to be the most exciting is when we can name these. I don't want to name them because I plan on chewing through them, destroying their very <laughs> essence. You give them names and all of a sudden they have personalities. Well, yeah. Of course. Everything with a name has a personality. Except for that one teacher I had in like the third grade. He she had, just didn't have one? He didn't, he didn't have any. He was an algebra teacher. You had algebra in grade three? Grade school. Did I say third grade? Yeah, I mean I'm impressed if you did. I mean, uh, yeah, of course I was doing I was doing physics and junk and I I <laughs> I meant high school. I don't know why I said third grade. The third Maybe grade I was thinking about school? my oh in the third grade I had a teacher named Miss Boatwright and she was my sweetheart. I loved her forever. Oh wow, that might be what it was. Cause she sounds she, like a nice lady. She was very nice except when she spanked me. Oh wow. Um, yeah. Spoiler alert. <laughs> That's a bit much, don't you think, Garth? <laughs> a little too much information on, on the old YouTubes. You don't know. Maybe it wasn't enough information. Because I didn't bring up the fact that I deserved it. 
Oh, that is true. Yeah, I was a horrible kid. Were you? Oh, gosh, yes. Hyperactive. Um, well, I had it all. I had it all. I don't know how many times I got sent to the office. Um, just because, you know, I was bad and junk. Yeah. It was horrible. You know, until, like, probably, like, middle of high school, mm -hmm. I was so obedient. And then I hit to the point where you start to get an actual personality as a person. Mm -hmm. And I was just like, why do I, why do I obey all their weird rules? Mm -hmm. And that was when it was pretty much all over for me. It's our window oh, yeah. to the world, man. Where's the creepers? They're always h hanging out in these kind of windows. <clears throat> He's in here with you. What? Over here. I'm a creeper. Oh. <laughs> I'm a window dweller. Creepers be creeping. Creepers be creeping, yeah. Alright, um, I think, I think, um, I think this is going to give us enough space. Oh, crap! Oh, God, run! Oh, it scared me in the face. Run! It's in your head. Uh, no, I don't want to die. Seal it. <laughs> I need first aid. <laughs> I need first aid, Joe. Joe Venator, I need first aid. Here, here. I can't give you this cobble. Uh, Eat it. I can't feel my toes. Ow. Oh, run, Garth! <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Ah, yeah. You look like Boromir from the first movie of Lord of the Rings right now. <laughs> That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. Nobody, nobody can sport an arrow in the head like me. <laughs> Clearly. I mean, I wish I could show you right now. I can see it. I can go to my inventory and see it. Oh, yeah, you can. It's can, funny can. when I bob my head up and down. Oh, that's awesome. It is pretty awesome, isn't it? I need food now, though. So yeah, I've got I, I'm one. afraid I'm going to have to eat your left arm. I've only got my right one, actually, on my screen, so... Um, that's awkward for both of us, then, isn't it? Clearly, you've already eaten my left one. Oh, that might explain it. Okay, so it's daytime. It should have been daytime a little bit longer. It's daytime, yes. So I'm going to turn off these squares. Uh, yeah, actually, that's probably a good idea. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to put a block of dirt right there. And I'll just dig these out right here. So All I right. know where this border is. But I think I think, uh, I think we got a pretty good, I think we got a pretty good rule set going. What do you think? I totally agree with that, yeah. You totally agree with it? Yeah. That's convenient. Um, I, I feel like this is a very good, a very difficult, theologically um, prepared map kind of thing, but I feel mm -hmm. like we're going to have a lot of fun doing it. I think we are. I, I, I'm trying to figure out what we're going to be able to build within. Because if you think about solar, solar panels are going to be an issue because our roof is always going to be changing. Well, I mean, I was doing a little bit of math um, oh right now, actually, <laughs> in in my head, and Just I now? determined that since there's like uh, 256 total blocks up, mm -hmm. if we did uh, like eight blocks high, yeah. all the way up, so an eight block to the next roof kind of thing, mm -hmm. um, you can have a perfect amount of roofs up to 256. Mm -hmm. um, cool. And I figured if we want to put solar panels on any level, um, I totally did this in my single player. You can uh, put red cover, red power covers on top of them. All the way up. Sometimes when people do math, I feel endangered. So I <laughs> go to my safe room. <laughs> and, when, <laughs> and when I do math, I usually get it all wrong and I look like a tool later on. Uh, I actually did math right on camera the other day, man. Really? Yeah, yeah. I was very excited about that. Uh, very excited about that. All right, so um, we're probably we're probably drawing near a good wrap up episode, uh, good wrap up of the episode. So I thought maybe this would be a good point for you to tell us a little bit about yourself because everyone who's watching may not know who Jofinator is. Tell us who is Jofinator. Well, the Jofinator is a uh, a YouTuber much like you, a little less um, well known because mm -hmm. I don't have very many catchphrases and. Um, awesome viewers like you do. <laughs> I do have awesome viewers, don't get me wrong. Like They're totally awesome. They help me out a lot. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm a Canadian. Uh, I like hockey. Um, uh -huh. I'm going to school right now for journalism. Uh -huh. um, I've been doing Minecraft. My actual series is almost done, my first series. I've been doing that since about early October. 
Yeah, I'm watching it. What you got? Uh, you did the gravity test plate today, huh? Or uh, yeah, or? that's the one that came out today. Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. And uh, yeah, that was not a fun build, by the way. I probably no. won't do that ever again. I did it once before, and I recorded the whole thing, and the episode was like an hour and twenty minutes long. Yeah, yeah, it was, it was awful. But it's got a lot of hits because it has gravity chest plate in the title. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> that's one of the things is I I don't actually title my videos, so I think I'm gonna do that for this uh, little yeah. series we got here. Mm-hmm. I'm going to title our, all our videos, like what we're doing that episode kind of thing. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, there's one more thing that I, w I wanted to, to get out of you as kind of like an introductory thing here. Yeah. Um, besides Minecraft, do you play any other games? Um, on my, I've been streaming a little bit. I've not done any series other than this one, right? Um, mm -hmm. But off YouTube, oh man, I play just about anything. You throw a game at me, if it's an indie game, a full-blown uh, PvP game, anything, I play almost everything. Okay. Right now, I'm pretty big into that League of Legends stuff, though. Mm. Um, hmm. Other than that, uh, you ever heard of Terraria? Never heard of Terraria. It's like a two-dimensional right, version kidding. of Minecraft. I'm, I'm kidding. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm just kidding. Well, now this is just awkward. Yeah, it is awkward. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm hoping to do on my channel, though, um, more more games similar to Minecraft, kind of like sandbox games, because mm -hmm. I really enjoy the, the freedom. Mm -hmm. And the amount of stuff you can do in sandbox games is just so much better than uh, doing a, a Let's Play of, say, like Call of Duty. Like, if you did a campaign walkthrough of that game, it would just be absolutely awful. You said duty. And it would be awful, right? Yeah, duty is awful. Duty is awful. All right, I just cut down a tree right here that is like a rubber tree. Yeah. But, but not an IC2 rubber tree. Yeah. You know what those are, right? Yeah, I do. They're okay. very... Actually, I think they're better than regular rubber trees, to be honest. You pretty much, when you cut them down, you get a chunk of rubber with every single yeah. log. Yeah. Uh, and you can use it interchangeably. Oh, yes, I got one. All right, sweet. Um, and you can use it in place of regular rubber. Yeah, you just got to cook it, right? Uh, yeah, you just got to cook it. But the thing that's important is it's also part of um, Mine Factory Reloaded. What that, is that? That mod has conveyor belts and junk oh, like that. Oh, my. Yeah, it's crazy. I, th I thought maybe we might get into a little bit of that on this one. I would I would love to. In fact, I'm sure most of my, my viewers would because I do all the basic mods. Mm -hmm. I've never actually touched on the crazy stuff. I love crazy stuff. It's my favorite thing. I, I would love... You know what? If we had a conveyor belt that was two stories tall, I uh -huh. would not complain to you. All right. You shouldn't complain because it's bad form. Is it? Yeah. I do it a lot because I don't care. Oh, and speaking of hockey, you said you liked hockey. Yeah. Um, my wife is uh, a Canadians fan. No way. Yes way. And I, I'm not sure how to feel about that, to be totally honest with why? you. Why? Well, you? actually, my, my girlfriend is a huge Canadians fan as well. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And, uh, well, I'm a Toronto Maple Leafs fan. Oh, shame. that's There's why. a lot of shame in my household. Yeah, there should be. But, you, you guys know are... what, I can't not now. Oh, uh, why? Well, I've live my entire life a Leafs fan. A closeted one, of course, because I don't want to tell people. Oh, but. yeah. I mean, I've been a Steelers fan, which is football. But, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. No, I've been I a know. Steelers fan for a long time, and they haven't been good for a long time. <laughs> well, they won, the, they won the Super Bowl, like, what was it, five years ago? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They had a good run at it. Didn't work out too well. After They're like that. the Leafs. They get one every hundred years or so. Yeah, we got f like four of them in the 70s and early 80s, but yeah, what do you do? Yeah, that was the last time we won as well. Yeah. It's horrible. I think this is a good place to wrap it up. Um, Sounds good to me. What do you want to get into next episode? I think we should uh, we should level the terrain a little bit. Maybe this chunk as much as we can, excluding the mountain. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe get a, a a primary base set up. Let's uh let's get all the basic mods out of the way first, and then we'll get into the crazy stuff. All right. So you say we should shoot for shelter and minimal resources next yes. episode. Yes. Okay. That sounds like a plan. That sounds yeah, like a, a pretty good plan, man. Yeah. Once you salutize for us. What's that? That's where you say goodbye. Oh, all right. I uh, made I made that word up, so it's not it's not surprising that you don't know what it means. Oh, you did make that's not a real word. I don't think so. I mean, it could you be. You had me there. That I'm not gonna lie to you. But it's because I used it in a confident way. That's probably why you thought that way. Yeah, that that's really good training on your part. Wow. Yeah, well, psst, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty, guys. This has been uh, F episode one of Garthers uh, and Jofinators. What do you call this? Inside the lines play? Uh -huh, uh -huh. Um, as always, enjoy. Bye-bye.